Um, you know, I, I think this team is amazing. I not only think they're incredibly talented, I think they're incredible young women. I'm so proud to be their coach, and we have a lot to learn. And because I care about them so much and believe in them so deeply, um, I've got to make it so uncomfortable for them to be anything less than their best with things under their control. And, um, you know, we show so many flashes, um, but we just, we don't have consistency of habits and focus yet. And uh, that's going to be, um, we're going to have to jump up in those areas um, as we go into this really difficult stretch over the next five weeks. And, uh, and I, I know they will. I know they'll rise up. Um, but I have to be really demanding and um, because right now we're not rising up yet. But my emphasis is yet because I know that they're going to. Um, so first for coach, I mean obviously Gabriella's performance. Yeah. So more big picture, how have you noticed her kind of step up this season and then sort of within this week, you know, with Angela and Emily right. abroad, how has she kind of stepped up in that four position? Well, she's only, she really only played the four a couple rotations. She started the game that way. Um, but you, there's two sides of what you saw from Gabs today. One is the work done in the dark always gets revealed in the light. And she worked her butt off in the dark all summer long. Are they, are they smiling at me like they're so sick of hearing that? Um, but she did. That's what you're seeing is that she spent hours and hours in the gym working on her perimeter shot, working on her handles, working on her guard skills. And so um, you're just seeing a manifestation of a lot of work done when no one was watching. Secondly, though, is her effort. It's inspiring. I mean, she plays so hard all the time. And that's exactly what you saw out there today is exactly what we see every day in practice. And honestly, if our entire team competed and played as hard as Gab's, we'd be closer to our potential right now. And, you know, she, she has things she needs to work on too. Um, but just in terms of effort, like just competition and downright effort, uh, she was phenomenal today. Okay. Um, and then for Lauren, you know, with Angela and Emily not here this weekend, how did you notice kind of yourself and then, you know, Christine, Gabriella, everybody sort of step up in the paint in their absence? Yeah, I mean, we definitely needed to step up. Um, we talked about it before in practice, just making sure we're communicating with each other. And obviously, like, we're missing two key parts of our offense. So we just needed to make sure that we're, you know, continue looking for each other, making sure that, you know, a lot of us, some of us don't feel comfortable playing in the high post, but we kind of just needed to step out of our comfort zone and do it for the win. And that's what our team needs from us. So, um, you know, I think there's still a lot of work to do for us bigs since they're out, but I think that um, we've done a good job, so, yeah. Right. Um, and then I noticed, you know, the turnovers was limited this game to seven. I know that was something, yeah. Coach, you had talked about wanting to limit. Um, what kind of was emphasized in practice to you know, limit that today? Well, I don't think it was, uh, you know, anything different was emphasized in practice, but I do really give them credit for that. I think we only had three in the second half, and um, is that we were much crisper. Um, that is, I think, one of the ha habitual bright spots in terms of growth. I thought, you know, just our assist total to have 27 assists a game, um, you know, I think that now to have 27 assists and then seven turnovers, that's a spectacular ratio, and uh, they've been really good about working on their passing. They know that that's something Something as we came into the year, that was something we were uh, thought was a weakness that we needed to turn into a strength. And I do think they've really focused on that. And I think they've bought into we need to be a great assist team if we're going to be efficient offensively. And I, I want to compliment Charisma in that. You know, we have a lot of scorers this year. We have a lot of different people. And my only word for her is efficiency. And I just think she's making really good decisions on which threes to take, which passes to make, when to, when to drive, uh, when to, set, uh, to take her pull up and uh, you know I think that number in terms of uh, turnovers is I think she sets the example for that she's just been extremely consistent and very efficient in everything she's doing and that's exactly what we need from her right my next question was for charisma um, I mean I know you passed another um, slot on the all-time scoring I know the focus is obviously the game but how does it feel to be you know kind of further cementing yourself in the history of this women's basketball program yeah, I didn't know that. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's really cool because obviously there's a lot of great players that have come through this program. But like you said, I'm not really focused on that as long as our team gets the win. Yeah, and then another question for you. I mean, I know you started out the game. You were the only upperclassman starting on the floor. How have you kind of noticed mm -hmm. that sophomore class like really stepping up in maturity and everything this season? <laughs> 
I didn't even realize that. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> uh, no, but I think they do a great job of stepping up and just to see like the jump from last year to this year and see the growth in them has been absolutely amazing. And um, Coach Corey and the rest of the coaching staff really pushed us really hard. And um, you could see just the difference from the summer even to now. Um, how much better they've gotten and they've earned like the starting spots that they've gotten but obviously like it doesn't matter who starts as long as we're um, playing together as a team but um, super proud of them and I'm excited to see them jump even further. Yeah and then I also noticed the offensive rebounding was 25 to 6 I mean specifically with the addition of Lauren's rebounding skills what do you think that's you know bringing to the team offensively? Well, every team right now is game planning against her, and you know, and I, I really, I'm really proud of her. I mean, she's obviously made a tremendous impact on our team, and I, I actually, I think she's further along than I thought she would be at this time. Um, and but you know, I mean, fair. I mean, it's not about her talent. I just think you know, trying to work into our system. I didn't know everybody would be game planning against her this early on, and that's a credit to her work. It's a credit to. I honestly, I think the two them playing together this summer with USA Basketball is a big part of that and her earning her confidence back and being ready to step into a different kind of role um, but you know it's obvious I mean people are daring us and we're shooting almost 40 percent on the year from the three-point line and they're so scared of Lauren they're daring us to shoot threes which is craziness um, you know but that is a compliment to her game and it's also a compliment to our guards that are stepping up in uh, you know hitting those on a very consistent basis but she's been an absolute absolute difference maker for us and um, you know I'm really really proud of her um, that how she stepped into our team and she's got you know I'm challenging her she's never played this kind of role before in college at this level and we're really challenging her and when you get this much attention you're gonna have to have your habits jump up too and so um, but I know she's ready for that and I know that's what she came here to do yeah and then I mean to look ahead kind of a question for all of you I know you've got Princeton coming up next yeah. week and then mm -hmm. UConn after that I know you mentioned some things you want to work on defensively, but what are you kind of going to look to do from now until then to I think it has nothing to do with – there's going to be tactical things that we'll prepare for. Um, uh, Princeton will be one of the toughest teams we face. Uh, I've watched them year after year after year. They are tough as nails. They're in the NCAA tournament every year. They usually get a major upset in the first round every single year. Um, you know, uh, Coach Berube's done a phenomenal job there, and uh, I just think we better be ready to play. It's, it's going to be a dogfight, and nobody has – they've been so worried about our transition game. Nobody's really tried to crash the offensive boards on us, and we're now about to face some teams that – everybody's going to crash and it's going to just be a it's going to be a dogfight. So it's not as much anything tactically. It's really I want to see toughness, physicality. Um, I want to see a little chaos on our own team in a good way. Like Lauren caring so much about charisma that she calls her up with one little mistake under her control and there's a sort of urgency from each other as peers that's what I want to see I want to see controlled aggression I want to see peer accountability I want to see passion plays I want us to take a step up in toughness that's the number one priority yeah and then for you too um, yeah, I mean, we're definitely just going to take it game by game. Um, I just think, like Coach Corey said, just working hard in practice, I think, is the biggest thing. And, um, you know, just taking, you know, a, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Just taking each practice, like, you know, very... Each rep. Yeah, each rep. We just got to focus in on each single thing we're doing at practice. Um, I just, yeah, I mean, I think, like, these few games that we've had, um, we've had like Coach Corey has said, we've had like shaky practices and I think you see like it's not consistent in the game so we just need to make sure that we lock in because obviously we do have big games coming up so I just think we need to work really hard and um, keep each other accountable and um, yeah I think we're we're going to be okay we just need to work hard so. They said it all. <laughs> <laughs> do you have anything? Well and I just want to thank you guys for being here like the, um, I, I, I really do ch want to challenge our LA media. I hope people see this. I hope people come out. It's not even just us. Like USC and us, we're killing it in recruiting. We're killing it on the court. We've got highly ranked teams. And I appreciate you guys showing up and telling our stories. And we need to create buzz in this city. We got too much good girls and women's basketball to not be telling these stories. So thank you. And I hope that whether it be the LA Times, the Daily News, the different blogs, whatever else, like you guys are missing out if you're not telling the stories of this team. So thank you guys for being here. Tell them, Coach Corey. <clears throat> thank, thank you. you yeah, thank you.